Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to make and install programs for Cookie OS. Uh, I'm gonna start by showing how to install a Cookie Browser. So, first you need your computer setup. So if you place a disk in here, and then you type in paste bin run and then this code. If you type in that and hit enter, stuff will install. And now you have the OS on both the computer and on the disk here. So this disk has the OS on it as well. So if you go to install program and uh, slash update and place this disk in, you will reinstall the OS. And that is helpful if you you're playing with programs because you can delete them that way. The next step is to place the program on a disk. So I just paste the disk inside of here and then I put all the programs on it. So run and another code. This will install cookie browser on here. So, if I install program slash update and place this disk in, it's going to install it and hopefully it works. Okay, time to look in here. Okay, you can see this thing is here now. That's good, but we aren't finished with this yet. Uh, this, this version of it will actually not work at the moment. You need to have another computer. For cookie browser, you need to do this stuff. So, in here, you want to copy another paste bin thing. Paste bin get and start up. So, okay, now that's complete. Then you need uh, more computers if you want. So you need one more computer for each web page you're making and in these things you will write uh, paste bin get and start up. So now that's complete. So um, in this thing you want to edit, start up, and below the right here text, write um, every time you make a new web page, you want to write this new address and then the name of the web page. So, something like that. And then the ID of the computer that hosts the web page, so this one. If ID in this one, and it says 54, so you have to write 54 here, and then you're done. Okay, so, on this thing, you can also edit startup, and below the right here, text. You, every time you want to add some type of text on the web page, uh, new text, and then the background color of the text, dot, uh, colors, dot, and then like yellow. Then you want to write the text, so hello, and then the text color. Colors dot uh, green, and then the position of the screen. Uh, so let's say ten, and so it's going to be ten from this side, and then the next one is like yeah, I'm going to write ten there as well. So it's going to be ten from the top and down, and then down here. 
it says background color so you can change this to whatever you want as well so now the background color will, will be blue and it will say hello somewhere on the screen and then you hold the control and R to, to make everything work and then you need that to do one more step uh, this disk is not going to work so we have to install it once more uh, whatever I wrote here so paste bin run and then the code so now you have the stuff installed here then you want to edit disk slash program and this number here is supposed to be changed so go over to this computer here and type ID and this one is 53 so you want to type in that ID here so 53 and then the disk will work and you have to restart this computer as well so hold control and R for a while and now that's restarted and now you can uh, oops now we can reboot this thing and install the cookie browser and this time everything is going to work hopefully okay programs now you can see that we have two programs here that's because I installed two versions of it um, so if I press this one we will get the cookie browser and then if I type in cookie I will get this thing with the hello that we made earlier so that's nice and you might want to change it so you don't have well in case you don't want two different versions of it right here you can just reboot the thing and install the OS again and then after that you can install the cookie browser again then you will only have one wo one version of cookie browser okay there's only one version here so that's nice then if you want you can add another web page it's pretty easy to do that uh, just type in ID and it says 55 then you hold control and T to terminate and edit start up then you can add another new address um, hello and 55 and there we go and then you have to install the thing the code and then you will have another web page so it's pretty simple if you want to make your own programs you can just plop in a disk in a disk drive next to a computer and then type paste in run and that code paste in and now you will have a program on this disk this is a program editor so you can edit programs in this program it makes stuff more easy so um, well I have been working on the program editor for a while and I have installed some different versions of it so this might look a bit messy uh, but the nice thing about program editor is that you will never run into this problem because you can just run your programs inside of the program editor and that way you don't need to install it all over again so I'm just gonna install this for like the 20 57th time so now we have the latest version of the program editor uh, well 
if you end up with this, this with a lot of programs in here, you can just reinstall the OS, and, and you will everything will disappear. Just have to reboot everything, and we have to run all the way over here. Because I put my OS in here, and install, and plop this thing in. And now it's gonna delete every program so it doesn't look as messy. And then I want to install the program editor again. Okay, now we should only have one program. Looks much cleaner now. So if I click on this, it will say insert disk. So you take a random disk and plop it in here. And now you can edit the a program that will be stored on this disk. And now you can press edit program to edit the code and it will open in a new tab up here so you can switch between the tabs by pressing up here or you can click here again and it will jump to this tab. Then you can edit the text which is what will be displayed in the programs list and then if you press start you can basically run the program and try it out so if I write something random like term dot here and then we'll sleep for 5 seconds it's gonna clear the entire mo uh, screen and then it will sleep for 5 seconds and then will return to the program editor so I have to save it first and then I can press start so everything got cleared and then after a while it flops back here so you can write your program here and then use this to try, I try it out and see how it works okay, I'm gonna write something different okay, I, have, I have changed the program a bit so now the background color will be green and it's gonna say hello uh, I forgot one thing I have to clear it clear Okay, there we go, now it should work. So, now everything is green and it says hello up in the corner. So, that's basically how you make programs. And if an error occurs, I'm just gonna type something random that will make an error. If I run the program now, it will display the error message for 5 seconds, I think and then it's going to return to this normal thing so in case you get errors you have the chance to see what the error is so i'm gonna in the text thing uh, you can change the background color of the text and the text color and then here you write what you want the program to be called uh, it must be 15 characters long because that's how I have made everything so I'm just gonna change some things if I say green here oops green and then change this to like blue or something and then I'm gonna edit it to the program 1 and then I have to remove one space make it 15 characters long and now uh, now we can try to install this program and see how it looks before you exit the program you have to exit all the tabs you have here so just exit them and then you can press the X in the corner gonna reboot everything and install I'm gonna install this program I made. Okay, and here we have it. It's green background with blue text. So that's how it looks here. And if I press it, we get this green screen and it says hello, but not in, up in the corner this time. The reason why it doesn't say it up in the corner is because of how the OS is made. Uh, but I guess I can change that so you won't run into that problem yourself. Uh, so if I go back to program editor 
I can insert this the same disk and I can continue to edit the same program. A thing you can do with the text thing. Uh, well, you have to write something that is 15 characters long in total. So you can remove like half of it. And you can continue on the next row. Let's just remove this text. Uh, now I can say like another background color. Okay, let's make it like yellow this time and the text color color stop um how about red and then arm dot right so uh this is one two three four five six seven eight it's eight characters uh, program one and 13, 14, 15. So that's 15 characters in total. And if I save that and exit out of here, I can restart this thing and install this program again. So half of this is one color and half of it is another color, as I said it, as I set it to. So you can make it how many colors you want in this way, as long as it is 15 characters in total, and it will still do the same thing. So I think that's pretty much everything for this tutorial thing. I hope this thing was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you later. Bye bye.